Hi, I'm John Oliver, and today we're going to walk through the steps of how to winterize your Oliver travel trailer. Before we begin, please ensure your black, gray, and fresh water tanks are empty. Also, we do not recommend using blown air to winterize your Oliver travel trailer, as doing so may damage your plumbing system. The first step in the winterization process is to turn off the gas on all propane gas tanks connected to your travel trailer. Next, turn off your water heater at the power switch. If your travel trailer is equipped with a Truma tankless water heater, you will also have to turn off the switch outside on the water heater itself. Next, turn off the water pump and then turn on the hot and cold water at any faucet to depressurize the water system. Once water ceases to flow from the faucet, turn the faucet handles to the off position. Next, you will need to close the bypass valve on your Suburban or Truma water heater. You can access the water heater bypass valve through the deck port on the lower curbside seating or through the curbside access panel below the bedding. The bypass valve will be located near the back of the water heater. You may have to lift or move the furnace duct to locate the valve. Turn the bypass valve so that the handle points toward the rear of the travel trailer. Next, you will need to configure the water pump valves which will allow you to pump RV antifreeze into the plumbing system from the inlet at the rear of the travel trailer. You will find the pump and the valves inside the camper under the curbside bed or seating area. To configure the valves for winterization on Legacy Elite models, turn the two valves on the left opposite of what they are in normal valve configuration. If your trailer is equipped with a black tank flush valve, open the valve under the right dinette seat. Next, attach a hose approximately three feet in length to the winterization inlet located at the curbside rear of the travel trailer. Place the end of the hose into a gallon jug of non-toxic RV antifreeze. Do not dilute the antifreeze before pumping it into your plumbing system. It is important that you use only concentrated RV antifreeze for winterization. Now, go inside the travel trailer and turn on the water pump. Then, turn on the cold water at the kitchen faucet and let it run until the flow turns from water to antifreeze and turn it off. Repeat this step for the hot water as well. In the bathroom, Turn on the cold water at the vanity sink until the flow turns from water to antifreeze and turn it off. Repeat this step for the hot water as well. Next, open the lid on the toilet and press the flush lever until the flow turns from water to antifreeze. Ensure some antifreeze remains in the bowl to keep the seal lubricated. Next, at the outside wash station located at the rear street side of the travel trailer, turn on the cold water and let it run until the flow turns from water to antifreeze. Turn off the cold water and repeat the same steps with the hot water as well. Then, go inside the travel trailer and turn off the water pump. Next, connect an antifreeze hand pump to the city water inlet on the street side rear of the travel trailer and insert the other end into a gallon of RV antifreeze. Open the outside wash station above the inlets and pull out the faucet from its holder and depress the button on the faucet head to lock the button in place. Then, turn on the cold water. Prime the hand pump until the antifreeze fills both hoses and pump antifreeze into the line until the flow from the faucet turns from water to antifreeze. This should take roughly two pumps. Please note that you do not have to repeat this process for the hot water. Disconnect the hose from the city water and connect it to the fresh water inlet. Prime the hand pump and pump four times to fill the line that runs to the fresh water tank. Then disconnect the hose. Locate the black tank flush inlet on the street side of the travel trailer and connect the hand pump hose to the inlet. Prime the hand pump and pump five times to fill the line that runs to the black tank. Then, remove the hose from the inlet. Finally, go inside the travel trailer and pour around two cups of antifreeze into the kitchen sink drain, the bathroom vanity sink drain, and the shower pan to keep the P-traps from freezing. Next, you will need to drain your water heater. 
During this process, please be extremely cautious as some residual hot water may still be in the water heater tank. Failure to do so may result in a scalding injury. If you are indoors, place a large bucket below the water heater door before beginning the next step so you can catch the water as it drains. If your unit is equipped with a suburban water heater, use an inch and sixteenth socket to remove the anode from the bottom of the water heater and leave it uninstalled while the water system is winterized. If your unit is equipped with a Truma AquaGo, drain the water heater by lifting up the black tab while pulling down the yellow easy drain lever. Doing so will eject the unit's inlet filter, which should not be reinstalled while the travel trailer is winterized. If you have the AquaGo electric antifreeze kit installed, you will need to unplug it before draining your Truma water heater. Once the water has been drained, lift up on the easy drain lever and lock it in place. This concludes the winterization process for your Oliver travel trailer. Once you are ready to start using your travel trailer's plumbing system again, See our video on dewinterization for information on how to properly flush the RV antifreeze from your plumbing system.